build different one, Pandora's items and Band of Thieves one. Guys, I'll go for Pandora's items. Not too much of a fan of Built Diff 1. You guys know me, I love Built Diff. But Built Diff 1 is a little bit, you know, it is what it is. Uh, what am I doing here? Infinity Edge. Am I going Infinity Edge? Do we just play two Jaxes? Oh, I want to I want to level up. I can't level up. I can't level up, bro. Oh, right, hold up. We need to figure out our items. What about the Hodge? Isn't the Hodge always good? I'm going to go for a Hodge. Because that item is always good. Can we win with just the Hodge? 3 versus 4. The reason why I build the Hodge first is I can go Infinity Edge. But then I'm locked in into AD, okay? Attack damage builds. But if I go Hodge first, I can go Hodge. Eh, I can go Jewel Gauntlet or Infinity Edge. Oh, I think I'm winning still. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I want to do that. So let's just reroll these. Even though the Jax would be pretty happy with at least a bow. But I, I just want to... I mean, I, I don't want to... Oh, my... What should we do, man? Okay, I definitely level up here and just play two of them. What should we do? So he's an AP unit, actually. He's full AP. He is full AP. Let's see how strong the enemy is. First of all. I think I'm still fine beating him. The thing is, I have to commit items at some point, no? Let's play AP this game. I played AD the last 15 games. Let's play AP. Let's play AP. Guys, Jax is so good. But again, we unbanned him in our games because he got nerfed like a million times. He should finally be um, just, you know, very good. Not insanely busted anymore, you know? So we ended up unbanning him in our games. Try Nila Bane Kaisa reroll maybe. Surely, surely, surely. You seem to dislike Ayaya squad. I don't really dislike it, but you know, it is what it is, man. If there's one game where I play Sivir, isn't it the, uh, where I play LeBlanc? Isn't it this one? Ah, I'm not sure. I want to keep the win streak. That's for sure. I'm not gonna go Ionic. Although it would be good for early game. It would be really good, bro. Okay, I win anyway, I win anyway. It would be really good. I win anyway, though. The thing is, if there's one game where I go LeBlanc, isn't it this one, man? I get blue buff, I get all the items I want. I get perfect items. I literally can't get not perfect items. New cam looking crispy. Thank you, Mr. Feed Lil Sticks. They're flexible with items, but I don't need flexible with items. I can go best and slot everything, right? That's the point of this, right? Of the Pandora's items. I can go literally the best possible build on something. Oh, I know what I want, man. But I'm last pick, so, you know. We'll see if we get it. Okay, it's already ripped. I would have just gone for two-star Jax. N now I just take the most expensive thing that I can get. Nice, I get a three cost. Doesn't doesn't really matter what I get now. Just take the most expensive thing and reroll the item. If we don't want it, I could go Ginsu's. I could go for a really strong Jax. I could go Morello. Probably not. I could go Ginsu's, guys. I could just play reroll Jax. What else can I play with Ginsu's if Jax fails? If I, if I don't get the hero augment? I feel like Ginsu's is very commit. Like a huge commitment. 
I'm gonna see how strong this guy is. If he's strong enough. He's not strong enough. Nice. Based. Okay, we can still wait. He's level 4 still, so we're chilling. He has, he has underground. He's trying to lose anyway. So we definitely win. Alright, this is good. This is really good. If we can get this full win streak, I might have to level here just to force the win streak. Okay, good, 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 good. He went Ginsu's Jewel Gauntlet. Oh, he has so many two stars. There's Jax as well. Uh, what can we pick up here? Doesn't really matter. Won't play any of these, but might as well, right? Because we're still at 10 gold. Oh, that is huge. Oh, that is gigantic, guys. Okay, I'm going AP. I just want to go AP, man. It's just fun. Oh, that is huge, bro. How much crit does he have? 80%. Do we go double Hodge? No. Who do we buy here? Who do we play? Probably just her. She's gonna heal us. There's no way I lose, right? He's level 5, but I don't care. There's no way I lose with this 2-star Jax. Absolutely no way. Look at this damage. Yeah. Oh, I love Jax, man. He, we can finally play him again. Look how cool he looks with his skin. This is the coolest Jax skin, in my opinion. It's so cool, man. Super cool. Do we want crit? Do we go double hodge? Double Hodge is maximum crit. Um, yeah, 100% crit. I'll just reroll it. Whatever. Have you tried buff Belkos? Is he gonna deal damage though? Isn't he just a support character? If he deals damage, I'm going for a 3-star Belkos. If he actually deals damage. If you can promise me that. And it's not a debate. <laughs> I'm gonna go 3-star Belkos. It'll be really fun. What are his hero augments? Does he have a damage hero augment? I think he's a... Uh, isn't a carry only with his augment? What's his augment? Oh, surely we drop more. We probably won't drop money. I don't need belt. Do I need tier? I can go with static shape. Oh, I think I just reroll everything. It doesn't really matter. I need to see the augment, man. I need to really see the augment. Oh my. Oh, that is so good. It might just be an Aurelian Soul game. Might also be a LeBlanc game. Just check out the augment. Putting them does nothing. I just pray we win. I can go for some tank items. Is this guy strong? He's kind of strong, yeah. I'll go for one tank item. Reroll the rest. Because, uh, I mean, th there's no... I already have two good items for the carry. I don't need to have all three items immediately. Right? And I'm still not sure what to go as a last item. Oh, that is really good, guys. Look at this. Nice. Oh, it's still stunned. Okay. Right, we're chilling. Heal reduction from Aurelian Soul. Makes the Gunblade not as oppressive. I'm pretty sure this is a Gargoyle's diff. Probably not. Could be, though. New camera looking amazing. What's up, soldier? Thank you, man. Kane Jax, when you field him, your team gains 100% dodge chance for 2 seconds the first time they fall below 50% health each combat. That is decent. Gain a Shogath, when you field him, your team gains 40 res magic resistance. Gain a Sejuani, her ability, and take more damage. I'm gonna reroll this, because these are all supportive. I'm looking for a carry augment. Gain a set. Oh, wow. She grants herself an adjacent allies 30%. Uh, combat start, she grants herself an adjacent allies. Gain a set and lock it off the Iron Soul Alley. After your team shields break, set recharges them. What a what 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 a sad reroll, man! What a sad freaking reroll! What a really sad freaking reroll, man! 
I should have just taken the Jax thing then. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Holy... We're still winning though. But that is really sad. I have to take this. Gain set and the lock it off to Iron Sorali. After your team... After your team's shields break, set char recharges them at 40% strength for 3 seconds. Combat water. Okay, nice. The, the, the Jenna shield. Okay, Jenna is shield. We're saved. It's, we can still save it. We just run a bunch of shielding units. We run a bunch of shielding units. Oh, it re-rolled. Oh, actually, it's based. I got a good item now. It re-rolled it. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, sell him. Sell him. Okay, kind of based, man. The Zeke's is based. I thought I, I'm stuck with the Zeke's. I don't like Zeke's too much. Not Zeke's. A locket. I thought I was I, I was gonna be stuck with a locket, but luckily I'm not. This Jax is still so strong, guys. You sure we shouldn't ban him? <laughs> Maybe I'm just lucky that I got him so easily and that I. But he's doing a lot here for us, man. I'm I'm gonna level here. I'm gonna defend his win streak. I'm gonna level to seven and roll a little bit. I want to get some other stuff. Want to get a better tank or something? What do we need here? I want to sell the jacks, but I can't yet. I don't think I'll get the Velvet, huh? I'll just take this then. Again, the most expensive unit. Is that not too bad for Jack's carry? What, what, does he shield himself? He doesn't shield himself, this. He doesn't get a shield, right? I could go BT, which would give me a shield, which would be pretty good, but I don't know. Uh, I think I'll keep him in the back. Nice. In time, base. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we keep this Vi now. She's really good. Uh, we keep this Vi, we go level 8 now. Can we go level 8 already? I think this is really good though. I think we keep, we play no no Draven. We play no Draven, we play Zack. Or Misfortune actually. Misfortune is gonna do much more, right? We could sacrifice Draven instead of Set, but the one star set naked. Does nothing anyway. Then we can hold both. Because I will definitely ditch something for Zack, maybe. Oh wow. Okay, now now I have too many things. Blue buff. Blue buff is the Shojin got buffed, so I wanna go Shojin. Oh frick, now we have so many things. Now we just roll. Now we just roll because if we hit. Oh my. <laughs> that was so lucky. That was so stupidly lucky, man. We could go MF instead of Aurelian Soul. I don't think so. MF is Anima Squad. And I'm not gonna play Anima Squad. I'm not gonna play Anima Squad. Never gonna play Anima Squad. I want this second guy. Then I don't want him anymore. Oh, yeah. Very good, very good, very good. We need to hit two star Aurelian Soul, two star. Then we sell the jacks, we move the items to him, we need a Shojin. And then we're good. And then we just sacrifice into Set, and Set is our tank. Oh my.
Holy, the high roll, guys. The high roll is going on. It's going on, boy. Your camera is 60 FPS now, or am I bugging? I have no clue. It's just a new camera. I think it's 60 FPS, though. It's pretty likely that it's 60 FPS. The old one was really old, you know? 1% Janna, yeah, so lucky. Stupidly lucky. We get the Shoujin as well. I'm pretty sure it's the best I can do here. And then we can go for a ZZ Rot. ZZ Rot. ZZ Rot is great. Can't complain. Holy bro. Oh, is this the game, guys? Is this the game where I get four, uh, three, star, three star Aurelian Soul? Is this it, man? Please be it. Please be it, baby. Alright, let's, let's check out this Janna shield, by the way. This could be my first Mr. 100 set 8 game. Because I'm telling you, I'm so stupidly strong. I high rolled so hard this game. I'm really in soul not doing that much. But they can barely get through the shields. Wow! Now he did a lot. I mean, he was hitting the front line. Of course he didn't do much. And then he just one-shots them. Tuber, Prege. Seems like a guaranteed Tuber. Vine shop, maybe move items to set. Um... The thing is, I wanna, I'll move them when he turns into two star. Right now, she's actually better. Actually, is she though? I'm make, I'm making him right. Yeah, I should have kept her. You're right. Oh my, are you serious, bro? Could have gone mech instead of spear. Honestly, mech isn't even good. Oh, how can I get so cocked by Mr. Mort Doggy Dog? Do we just go exiles with the with the thing and then we just kick Jenna? The Jenna doesn't even do that much. It's a 400 shield. I think we just go exiles and we kick Jenna. It's sad, but. I think it makes sense. It makes the most sense here. Because Exiles is... Look, look at this, man. This is the same thing, just I don't have to play as Jenna now. And I have room for other stuff, right? Bronner is same as level 3 Locket. No, no, no. The Jenna shield is great. But it griefs the positioning. Right? And I would never take Exiles here if I had another good augment. Mech is useless. Because mech is only good if you're also running, uh, like, mech will be good when I hit Leona and stuff, but it's it's just not worth. He's already fully equipped, right? It's, it's just an awkward timing, you know? Like, he's already fully equipped, so I can't mech him anymore, which I would love to do, but I can't anymore. I'm not gonna hit another new Aurelian Soul 2. Um, yeah. We just go Ox Force. Probably not. I think we just do this. Oh, true. Now I can sacrifice the garbage guy. Ah, let's do this. I can keep the jacks. Yeah, the thing is, the, and the scope weapons is unplayable for me here, right? Scope weapons is useless. The, the other two augments were just too bad. So we just go Exiles. Exiles is super good with this set augment. So that's already good. I guess I don't have the extra synergy with Janna now, which is a little bit sad. But hey, it can't it can't be helped, right? Guys, this Trogat does so much damage. This has to be some augment. Each time his ability hits an enemy, he steals 35% of their magic resistance. <laughs> That's so sick. And yes, super's hard. Ooh, if he hits, it's gonna be crazy. If he hits 3-star Cho'Gath, 3-star supers, <laughs> it's gonna be really crazy. I'm, I'm glad I'm still Mr. 100. I can pick... I can basically pick my thing here. I can basically pick my... Um, like, if, if I got the emblem, I could basically pick the emblem, right? Because I can reroll, but yeah. I don't think I would take Emblem there. I was gonna take Fiddlesticks, just because it's a Fiddlesticks. I can put Fiddle here. 
I'm just gonna go for the three cost. Okay, never mind. Just go for this. Uh, we can level soon to eight, right? Do we stay greedy or do we level here? Oh, I think we level here and then roll again. We roll again now. We try to hit something good. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good, though. Um, three star Aurelian Soul doesn't seem that possible. I should definitely sell the Aurelian Soul. If I want to stay Mr. 100, I sell the Aurelian Soul, right? That's a really strong set. What, what, which augment does he have? He's, does he have the carry? Yeah, he has the carry one. When he kicks the guy out of the map, I think this Aurelian Soul will get one shot. Watch this. If he ults. Oh no, he ulted the wrong way. Yeah. He kicks them, and if he kicks them out of the map, the Orion Soul is right next to the wall. If he kicks them into the wall or into the invisible wall, then it's uh, then it's dead. I'm I'm gonna go for the Mister 100, guys. No Orion Soul three, eleven. I need to make ten gold there. Edge of Night, Edge of Night on who? Did Belveth do enough damage to justify Edge of Night? Not really. She did decently, but I don't think Edge of Night is going to be good. I think I want BT, I want more shields. I'm just going to give her this for now, and I want a BT, I think. Is this guy good? I think I would rather have the CC. I need a 2-star set. As soon as I get 2-star set, I move the items away from Vi, I need to buy the Vi. We give up on this guy now. No, the Vi is even useless, man. Oh, I, we can just sell the Vi right now. Oh no, the Aegis, right? Who's giving me Aegis? Oh yeah, <laughs> the 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 Alistair. My bad. This is a really strong Belveth. But I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so hmm, Aegis is pretty good though. I think I just sit at 19 because this guy is also going to be really good if I get him. Because we can ditch uh, this. We can ditch this for sure. The Vi is really good. Vi is Brawler and Aegis. Um, hmm. And then we just sacrifice Set and Leona becomes the mech. Hmm. That is really good. Uh, do we need Gunblade? Probably not. If I'm not playing the Belveth, what do I need? I just stack tank items? There's no assassins in this set, so I think the Aurelian Soul will be safe. We'll just kill everything. If given enough time. Oh, but there's a BT though. I do enjoy the BT. Because it scales with the, with the set augment. Do we, go, do we ever go 5 mech? I think that's too much. Okay. Uh, can we go 9 from this position? Redemption? I think this is better. I should have rolled here. I should have rolled. If I lose this one, it's my bad. I should have rolled for sure. Because I'm still sitting at one star set. Would be a huge upgrade to get him two star. Uh, can I reserve the next game? Yeah, for sure, Serge. For sure. What is the red item on your bench? It's the it's the mecha selector. You choose which one becomes the big mecha, the mecha prime. And then he eats two other mechas that are closest to him. You can see that by the blue line. And it becomes huge and gets all the health and stuff. 4k health. 4.6k health. Alright, nice, 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 nice. I'm pretty sure I should roll. There's no way I level. 
But if I don't level here, some people will level. Okay, but most people are at zero gold. Level 8, 0. Level 7. Level 7, 20. Level 6, 0. Level 7, 0. Level 7, 0. Okay, we're rolling for sure. This might not be a level 9 game. Nice. I hit. Wait, is that it already? I could hit Belveth, but that's the only thing and I'm fishing for two Belveths. I don't think that's gonna happen. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm fishing for two Belveths. I think we just chill. You see the blue line, he, you see? He f eats these two and becomes huge at the start of the fight. I'm still reserved for next game. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's like Dragomancer, yeah. What is the set augment? Uh, it... When our shields disappear, he restores them by 40%. 40% of the shield gets restored for 3 seconds. That's why I took Exiles. So we get huge, we get very nice shielding. He has two duplicators, man. This might be a level... I mean, I still want to go level 9, no? There's nothing to roll for. I think my team is maxed out. What can I roll for? There's nothing, right? Just stacking more Aegis, maybe. Right, now I have to duplicate the Belveth, so we just keep rolling now. Until we hit. Alright, perfect. The Belveth is doing fine. Look, one star already did 3.3k. That's crazy. Now it's... Uh, and she has a double shield. Like, she gets the shield from BT. And then he gives her the... He restores the shield. This could be Mr. 100. I hope it is. <laughs> Everyone is level 8, 0 gold, right? Yeah. Or level 7 even. Okay, I th please. First Mr. 100 in this set. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Might even be if I get another Aurelian, I never go 9. I just roll for Aure Aurelian 3. But I think I should go 9. I can just play Fiddle or Urgot. Urgot probably. Play Urgot. Or play Fiddle and Urgot. Ditch Belveth. Ditch Belveth for Urgot. BT Urgot, sure. Seems fine, right? BT Urgot is pretty good. Nice, we kill this guy in overtime. We're good. Okay, 26 health left. This guy just won a fight. Seems pretty strong. Six threat. What are we looking for here? Oh, I know what. Oh. Nah. I don't want... I mean, the Leona would be good, but I don't I don't want the Zephyr, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a Zephyr on PvE. I know I could reroll it, but I would obviously have to uh, sell her. If I, if I had a remover, I would take the Leona. Every time here. Oh, nice. Uh, I think we go Echo over... This is Brawler. It's still Echo over this, for sure. We lose Brawler, but who cares about Brawler? Oh no no, the Brawler bonus applies and then he gets he gets the juice, right? Does he get more health if I have Brawler? I think I, he gets more health if I have Brawler in. I wanna make sure we don't mess that up. Uh, this guy has really strong augments though. And I think he has six admin. No, he, do, he only has four admin. Does he have Infuse? No. Upgrade Berserk. Kane and Soraka after 15 seconds of combat. All of her ability casts are Empowered Stars. Oh, wow. We need to kill her fast. She has a Gunblade. She's not gonna die, is she? Now she has the Empowered Casts. And this guy has a Leona, and Leona is not dying. Killing my set. Okay, we're fine. Oh, no. We're not fine. Ah, rip, Mr. 100. Oh, yeah. Now we're going fast 9. Now we're just gonna go 9. Ah, uh, unfortunate. My Aurelian Soul wasn't targeting the Leona enough. Eh, the Soraka enough. That's a really powerful augment, man. That's a little bit unfortunate, man. Rip. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a difference here. She just eventually just she just kills this thing, right? Just not enough damage. This guy is not. He's good, but if there's something like that, it's not good enough. He has Leona. Now it doesn't matter, right? Ah, no Mr. 100, bro. Come on, man. What is this? This is gonna be a YouTuber, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I think so. 
It would be very crazy if I lose this, right? The only thing that was up in the air was, are we gonna get Mr. 100? <laughs> Everything else is pretty much, you know, if you win so many fights, 86 health versus 26 health on the second guy, that is a very difficult to, you know, it's pretty much insurmountable for him. The Soraka guy is strong, but you know, I, I eventually reach level 9. I get some legendaries and then there's not much you can do, right? Maybe he hit Soraka 3, but I just don't think so. 40 gold though. 40 gold is not that bad. Let's not write the game off yet, okay, for him. It could be, because... I, guys, I, I don't think anything wins against Soraka 3 with this. Every 3 casts, she launches 3 stars at each of the nearest enemies. That's the thing, you know? And then she, after 15 seconds, she always does that. And that's why she killed him, because he was... Like, eventually she kills so much frontline, that even if you have the set alive... This guy is still one of the three targets next to you, you know? The Aurelian Soul, even though he's on the... He's completely far away from her, so... That's why she's really good at killing, uh... Sometimes she kills backline as well. At some point. Whereas this guy is... His meteors are random. That's the thing. But maybe I can hit 3-star Aurelian Soul. Maybe we shouldn't go level 9. We just try to hit 3-star Aurelian Soul. Uh... These are all pretty bad. I guess I'll get this, but I'm not really gonna use it. I can only get two. I'm just gonna reroll it. I'm just gonna reroll it. Should we should we try to get Aurelian Soul three guys? What do you think? If I roll down here, no one's using Aurelian. I'm gonna roll a bit, okay? Belveth 3? I'll never need her. Oh, Urgot? I'd rather play Urgot than this. Okay, another Aurelian Soul. Maybe it's doable. Let's sell these two for now. Let's be at 50 gold still. I think I can lose against this guy as well. He has 2 star fiddle. And it's just his ghost. Nah, look how, look how strong I am, guys. I just have a really strong front line with best in slot uh, Aurelian Soul. Super good. Just a super good unit. Okay, so this guy lost against the Soraka, which isn't too surprising. Soraka is truly insane. Another BT. BT you, you can't stack BT. You can, but it's not that good. Another set. Three star set would also be exciting, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> Restar set would certainly be exciting, guys. I want to play this for more money. And it's also better, I think. Didn't I sell the Leona? Okay, finally we get this guy. So we can ditch uh, the Vi. Because Brawler doesn't really do much. Not, not enough, at least. To not play a 2-star Echo over a 1-star Vi, right? The 2-star Echo is so much better. Look, see, she's, she just eventually just, you know... She just kills this guy. After 15 seconds, it's super strong augment. Super cool. This actually... I didn't know this existed. I only always saw the, the supportive one infuse the Soraka augment. That gives everybody 15 mana. Uh, every 5 seconds, I think. That's the other hero augment for Soraka. Rabadons. Rabadons is actually not bad on him. Because he just pops infinite money. He pops infinite money, man. Look, now he has a 20% chance to drop money. And not just money, everything. Alright, oh, yeah, we can hit, I think. They're, they're not both gonna die. Like, they, they're actually stronger than me right now. They win against me right now. Because I didn't go 9. But I want to make it more exciting, right? It's not fun if I just go 9. I put 2-star Urgot, 2-star Aphelios, and we just call it a day, right? Not even 2-star Aphelios. Just 2-star Fiddle, 2-star Urgot, and we call it a day. And they're hard stuck level 8. So they can't really do much. These units have so much strength, these legendaries right now. Like, you can see, this guy was... 
not doing too well. And then he hit two star of fiddle at level eight. But he rolled a lot, so it's not like I'm not saying he got lucky. I'm just saying as soon as he gets that, he he comes back a little bit into the game. And starts contesting us. These units are just really strong, so if I just get them, it's GG. Mm, I'm just gonna take this Zack. Because I'm getting close to Zack 2 as well. Uh, Zack 3. I just take the thing that gets me the closest to the 3 star. Okay, so he can still beat me probably twice here. I'm not gonna use my Shroud either. Okay, another Zack. We're getting close now. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, another set. Ugh. I don't think we win. Oh, we have to sell this. We're not gonna. This is not gonna happen. I don't think we win this fight, right? I think we lose it pretty hard, actually. Guys, if I don't hit either of them, that is just that is just cringe, right? There's almost no way. We even put Urgot to get more money with blue buff. <laughs> Instead of the Belveth 2. Honestly, I'm really strong. Like, the, the Soraka guy is a struggle for me. No, no, please don't win. Please don't win, though. Please don't win. Please don't win. That was fight RNG, man. I just got lucky in the fight. But I didn't want to get lucky. <laughs> Bro, that was just lucky. I didn't want to get lucky, man. I'm sure I I think the fiddle ult looked really terrible. And it's not random, but it's kind of, you know, it's hard to manipulate where the fiddle will ult, you know. Like sometimes just more of your front line dies faster before he ults. And then he ults the back line, which is good. But sometimes... That doesn't happen, and then he ults the front line, and then it's just, right? Anyway, guys, subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views, and I'll see you next time.